If I knew this harsh truth that I'm going to tell you in this video, my life would be much easier. Hey, what's up guys? It's Hosim from Sidea. So when the pandemic hit the world, people who were working on site lost their jobs. In this period, the tech market was the most profitable because programmers could work from anywhere because all they need is laptop and Wi-Fi, right? From 2019 till now, many of my friends shifted their careers and started to attend coding schools. Now, almost all of them have more than one project. In the past two years, people were very jealous of programmers who could work from home and still get a nice paycheck. So this year, we see a lot of people showing interest in getting into the IT world. And this is a good thing because with the new people in tech, the industry will grow and even further, right? And more automation will hit the world. More robots, more software, and overall more good things. Now, here are the harsh truths no one tells you about programming. Number one, you cannot learn programming in one month. I've seen tons of tons of ads about how you can make a six-figure salary after graduating 30 days long bootcamp. Well, I don't believe in it. Learning how to program like any other skill takes time. It takes consistency and repetition, and it will take time to learn. It's even longer for people who come from a non-technical background. It's not just a few commands or framework or different languages you need to know. It's a changing of a mindset to think in a specific way to solve problems in a specific order. I've seen people with no basic computer knowledge landing a six-figure seller job. They just need to work a little extra during their education because people who has the, the background or at least know how to work with computer, it will take them a little bit less than for people who, who don't have any computer skills. So you cannot learn programming in one month. In my opinion, the realistic time frame for learning how to program is 5 to 10 months. If you want to learn Java, Salesforce and cybersecurity and land a six-figure salary job, link will be in the description. Check out our side deal program, all right? All right, number two, your background matters. I have two friends who are now in IT and making tons of money. The first one was a truck driver for, for the last six years. And the second one was the office manager for the long time. Now, the one who was a truck driver had to dedicate eight to 10 hours a day to the lessons. And for the office manager, it was only six to seven hours a day. Both of them landed the job in seven months, but one was working harder because he didn't touch a computer for the last six years. And the other one was working on a daily basis. So the takeaway here, you need to put extra hours of learning if you haven't touched a computer for a long time. But the good news is you can definitely do it and change your life. Number three, you will give up more than once. Trust me on this one. There are going to be days when you hate programming. You will find yourself questioning why you are doing this, why you are spending so much time programming. Trying to combine a full-time job with a full-time IT school such as IDEO is extremely hard and time-consuming, right? But that was not the actual reason why I gave up. I used to compare myself with everyone else who was more experienced or probably more talented than me and that kept me away from my initial goals. Please, please, please. Do not repeat my mistakes. Don't compare yourself with other students. Never forget the actual reason why you decided to start. That's the only thing that can keep you in the game. So don't stress out, learn, relearn, and bounce yourself back again. Number four, getting your first job will be uncomfortable. I have big network of people who just started their IT careers. Most of them learned a lot on their first job, but it was very stressful. That first job gave them the experience they needed. After hitting the job market for the second time, most find much better teams to work and, of course, better salaries. Treat everything as an experience and learn from them. Everything for the first time will be hard until you get comfortable. Getting experience in the real world is worth all the effort. From the first job, you will learn what to tolerate and what not to tolerate. Once you learn everything about your first project and decide to change company, the next step is to hit the job market again. Now that you have experience, you will pay attention to the people interviewing you. You will ask them questions that are important to you. Number five, tutorials and YouTube videos won't help you to find a job. You can take all the tutorials and videos under the sun, but there will be other reasons you land a job. Yes, taking tutorials is a huge part of your learning and growth, but there is a more to it. Companies look at different things. Most companies want to see your projects on GitHub, things that you actually built. And for them, it's super important. 
to know if you are eager to learn. Can you solve a problem? Are you still hungry for new information? Do you want to keep on learning? These questions are really important for most of the tech people. They want to get to know you as a person and see that you would be a good fit for their team. No one wants to spend 8 hours a day with a weird unsocial people. But that's it from my thoughts guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully it was insightful for you. And if it was, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you have any other questions, please let me know. There was a mosquito, so... In my opinion, the realistic time, uh, the, the realistic time. <laughs> In my opinion, the realistic time frame for uh, the ah.